Welcome back to another episode of Shade TV. My name is Marissa Hill and Supreme and Nike are at it again on a different silhouette, this time the Air Max 98 TL. And today we'll be looking at the white colorway. Let's take a quick sneak peek. channel welcome be sure to hit that subscribe right now give this video a thumbs up if you have any comments or questions feel free to leave those down below and hit that notification bell because we do have a ton of heat coming out that i don't want you to miss out on also be sure to check out that join button for our amazing membership perks as well as our merch store Today we're going to be talking about the latest Supreme collaboration with Nike on the Nike Air Max 98 TL. I snagged a pair in the white colorway, so we'll go through the overview, jump into size and fit on these, followed by how I style this, which is really clean colorway, then we'll conclude with how these are currently doing on the resale market. So let's jump right into it. For those of you who follow my Supreme week to week, I know that it has been a little just not consistent and that's because some of the weeks have been a little dry in my opinion but when I actually saw images of this sneaker I had to have a pair I typically am not into Air Max 98s whatsoever but to be honest if you are somebody who is used to seeing a 98 you will probably understand that this looks really nothing like a 98 I was trying to figure out what this reminded me of and I'm going to bring some images out uh, for you to kind of compare the two because I would love to hear your opinions on this but this actually reminds me of the air tuned max design so if you look at the upper you can see this kind of design is very very similar to the air tuned max the designs that they used and patterns that they used on this specific silhouette are so different from what i'm used to seeing on the 98 that i was really actually more drawn to it on the front we do have a knitted mesh upper and just a clean white colorway we've got synthetic leathers as well uh, but this is just a very clean monochromatic look uh, so definitely if you're looking for like a clean classic white sneaker i feel like this is just such a different looking air max 98 and it's definitely something that's going to be easy to style with we have clean white laces but of course we do have additional pairs in this light gray and white hue so if you're feeling like you want a little bit of extra something on there definitely nice to always have an additional pair of laces we've got supreme on the lace tips which you will see on the white pair as well here and then we've got supreme's logo nicely stamped there in that pop of red and the nike swoosh and that subtle hue and again we've got more of that mesh knitted uh, material on the tongue as well as some more of that synthetic leather on the eyelids so let's take a look at those details and move along to the side mailing So working 
away the side paneling again. This is such a similar design, especially from the side profile to that air tuned max. Uh, but this is definitely just a nice incorporation of using different materials. So we do have the synthetic leathers intermixed with that knitted meshing, all in that white color scheme. And then we do have an outlined Nike swoosh here and this light heather gray. Uh, that definitely looks like it matches the TPU on the back here. So you're going to have some nice reflective materials really shining through when it hits the light. And then as we work our way to the back of the heel, we've got Supreme printed on the back in that nice silvery color scheme, which again is reflective. We do have the TL Air and then a little Nike swoosh there and a pop of color. As we work our way around to the lateral side of the sneaker, you'll notice that we do have this hang tag, which is typically on all of the Nike uh, Supreme collaborations in red. And then again, we've got that same kind of intermix pattern going on in the white color scheme as well as that outlined heather gray nike swoosh we've got more pops of red on the interior of the silhouette so we've got red for the insole with supreme in white and the nike air branding as well in that white color scheme as we work our way to the bottom of the midsole we've got this nice big uh, air unit on the back as well as the side profile in that transparent color scheme where you can see nicely through and then the bottom is completed in white and red Let's take a look at those details and then we will jump into size and fit. So this did come in four different colorways. It also released in a hot pink color scheme of brown as well as a black. I preferably wanted to go for the white. I feel like this is just a nice kind of classic looking everyday sneaker. I wasn't as big of a fan of the other color schemes, but um, I do love the fact that they did give us four options. I just feel like the white and red combination was the best out of the four. All right, so now let's talk about size and fit on these. So I will say that these run a little bit on the smaller side. And if you actually look at the toe box region here, this kind of reminds me of like how narrow and shallow a boot would get. It is quite narrow in the toe box. If you can see right here is the sneaker goes up towards the upper. It does kind of curve in and it's quite narrow up here. So there's not a lot of room for your toes. So for me, I would actually recommend going at least half a size up. I went true size and I feel like these are a little bit on the tighter side and I feel like my toes don't have that much wiggle room and a lot of that has to do with the fact that my toes are reaching this very narrow space and they don't really quite fit. So if you do have flatter, wider feet, definitely go half a size up on this one. Do take into consideration that I do like to wear these with a little bit of extra space in the toe box region as well as wearing a little bit of a thicker sock. All right, so now let's talk about styling. So again, this is just a really nice simplistic color scheme here. We've got slight accents of red, probably not going to keep the hang tag on, but I did style it with it. So I gave you those options, but for the first, like I wanted to have fun with it. I decided to wear a Hello Kitty sweater. That's kind of this nice kind of Christmassy sweater as we're getting into the cooler seasons here in New York. I wore that with a mini skirt that was kind of a nice frilly material in black. Definitely think that you can have fun with these. Definitely lots of vibrant colors will work just because of the palette of this is so simple.
for the second look, I decided to switch it up a little bit, still wear um, a mini skirt, but this time I went with a monochromatic look in all gray, just to kind of play off of the nice gray hues that I saw as subtle accents throughout the sneaker. last and final look kept it pretty cozy again monochromatic uh in a teal color scheme i definitely think that colors are just something that i feel or at least find myself wearing more and more this fall so definitely don't feel afraid to pair this with a bold statement looks what was your favorite or how would you style these currently doing on the resale market. So these retailed at $168 and they are currently going between $220 to $350 in the white colorway. Do you think that this was probably one of the most popular colorways just again because this is such an easy color scheme to work within your wardrobe. All right everybody that is it for this unboxing and review. If you joined us for the first time thank you so much. Be sure to hit that subscribe on your way out. Give this video a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions feel free to leave those down below. Hit that notification bell because we do have a ton of heat coming out that I don't want you to miss out on. Also, be sure to check out that join button for our amazing membership perks as well as our merch store. This is Shay TV. My name is Marissa Hill. We'll catch you on the next episode.